us to Star Command. Come in, Star Command. I have an urgent message. Halt! Who goes in? In our movies, and especially in the world of Toy Story, we have tried to tap into universal truths from people's childhoods. We all had toys when we were kids, and we all played with our toys. And so that really inspired us into what the game could be, especially in the idea of the toy box. My name is Bob Lowe, and I'm a senior producer. The toy box mode, really, it's an open world that allows the player to play with all of these different toys the way that Andy would play with them. I thought it was a really creative way to break out of just having the plot of the film in the video game. As we started to understand what the toy box was, we didn't want to go broad, we wanted to go deep. The toy box mode is just fertile ground for coming up with a lot of fun ideas. One of my favorite things about the game is the level of customization. There's all these modifiers that you can add on to different characters. I think people are just going to have fun spending hours and hours just customizing the game. And then there's missions, exploration, and all of these different things. And a lot of those missions are controlled or refereed by other Toy Story characters. Like Stinky Pete, like Wheezy, Slinky, Rex, Ham. Any of you even understand a single word he said? In Woody's Roundup, you're the sheriff that's been asked to bring order to the town. And you can also construct the town and customize it and its residents any way you want. Whether they be the townspeople, whether they be the aliens, they're really founded in a real toy, you know, in, in one way or another. And then on top of that, you unlock toys, whether it's goo or a haunted house. You've got the fairies from the Enchanted Glen, gargoyles, a monster truck, sports townspeople, this dragon that you're going to ride on, ninjas, ghosts, army townspeople, anything that you can imagine makes sense in that world. With Toy Box Mode, we wanted to allow you to use your own imagination. It's an opportunity to go build a world that you want to play in. This fun, pure moment of imagination and kind of do whatever you want. It feels very much like playing, like true playing, the way a kid plays. It came out really fun. You know, it came out better than real life. 